today we are going to solve a very important problem based on Rodriguez formula in fact this problem says that using Rodriguez formula we have to prove that the integral of pn of x from minus 1 to plus 1 will be equal to 0 if n is greater or equal to 1 so uh, to solve this problem let us start from the Rodriguez formula you know the Rodriguez formula is pn of x equal to 1 over 2 to the power n into n factorial dn dxn x square minus 1 to the power n now we have to evaluate the integral uh, of pn of x so you can see that uh, integral of pn of x with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 will be equal to what that will be 1 over 2 to the power n factorial n integral of dn dxn x square minus 1 to the power n from minus 1 to plus 1 now we will simplify the rhs of this equation so you can see therefore integral from minus 1 to plus 1 pn of x dx this will be equal to 1 over 2 to the power n into n factorial and integral from minus 1 to plus 1 and you can write this dn minus 1 by dx n minus 1 d dx d dx x square minus 1 to the power n dx sorry you should write this dx here dx now you can see the integral of d dx x square minus 1 to the power n dx this will be simply x square minus 1 so this will be equal to 2 to the power n into n factorial integral from minus <coughs> not integral but say we have to integrate this d dx x square minus 1 to the power n dx and that integral will be equal to in fact x square minus 1 to the power n so this will be d n minus 1 dx n minus 1 and x square minus 1 to the power n and limits are 1 and minus 1 now we will simplify this 1 over 2 to the power n into n factorial and this is d n minus 1 dx n minus 1 and on the basis of the formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b we will now simplify it so you can write this x square minus 1 to the power n as x minus 1 to the power n into x plus 1 to the power n and limits are 1 and minus 1 <coughs> now if you want to differentiate this factor x to minus 1 to the power n into x plus 1 to the power n n minus 1 times you can see the operator is dn minus 1 by dx n minus 1 
so we will have to differentiate this product n minus 1 times for differentiating this n minus 1 times we will actually apply the Leibniz theorem so let us say this is equation 1 and now by Leibniz theorem you know you have studied Leibniz theorem definitely by Leibniz theorem what is this Leibniz theorem you can say d n u v here u and v both are functions of x d n u v you know this is equal to d n u into v plus plus n minus 1 c 1 d n minus 1 u into dv plus so on and plus u into dn v and here when you write dn what does it mean where actually this dn is the differential operator this is dn dxn so <coughs> this is the Leibniz theorem and you can see here there are actually product of two functions of x x minus 1 to the power n into x plus 1 to the power n so we will apply this Leibniz the formula or this Leibniz theorem to differentiate this so now using this formula <coughs> we will differentiate it so see here therefore integral from minus 1 to plus 1 pn of x dx this will be equal to 1 over 2 to the power n into n factorial and you can see the formula says that first term will be dn dx n u into v and here in our problem at the place of n there is n minus 1 so the first term will be what the first term will be dn minus 1 by dx n minus 1 and this will be operated on a first function that is x minus 1 to the power n and the second function will be written at each so this is simply x plus 1 to the power n and plus now this in second term you can see this is n minus 1 c 1 and d n minus 1 and uh, here n is already n minus 1 so this will be d n minus 2 by d x n minus 2 and that will be operated uh, <coughs> that will be operated on u and u is x minus 1 to the power n so this is x minus 1 to the power n and now d dx will be operated on the second factor and the second factor is x plus 1 to the power n and in this way you can write uh, so on plus now the last in last term you write u and u is x minus 1 to the power n and the operator d n minus 1 d x n minus 1 will be now operated on v and v is what v is x plus 1 to the power n x <coughs> plus 1 to the power n and limits are plus 1 and minus 1 now the differentiation like this 
डी एन माइनस वन डी एक्स एन माइनस वन एक्स माइनस वन टू द पावर एन एंड सो ऑन इनफैक्ट वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट दीज टर्म्स एक्चुअली यूजिंग ए पर्टिकुलर फार्मूला व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर सो अगेन आई एम राइटिंग दैट फार्मूला सो यू कैन सी वी नो दैट डी एन ए एक्स प्लस बी टू दी पावर एम अगेन दिस डी एन मीन्स वाट दिस मीन्स डी एन डी एक्स एन सो यू नो दिस डेरीवेटिव इज इक्वल टू ए टू दी पावर एन इन टू एम फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय एम माइनस एन फैक्टोरियल इंटू ए एक्स प्लस बी टू दी पावर एम माइनस एन सो यू कैन सी दिस फॉर्मूला एंड यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला वी कैन से वॉट विल बी दिस डेरीवेटिव दैट इज डी एन माइनस वन डी एक्स एन एक्स माइनस वन टू द पावर एन वॉट विल बी दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली द remaining factor we have to differentiate x minus 1 to the power n uh, with respect to x n minus 1 times and we will differentiate this by using this formula so you can see that what will be this result so i am erasing this this is only to understand that dn means dn dx n so now you can see our result will be what integral minus 1 to 1 pn of x dx and this is equal to you can see the formula says that when you differentiate n times of the function ax plus b to the power n then here is the factor a to the power n and a is the <clears throat> multiple of x so you can see in our problem the multiple of x is 1 so this will be simply 1 to the power n minus 1 and again factorial m at the place of m you can compare this for formula that there is in fact n so that that will be factorial n and divided by m minus n here m is n and uh, n is n minus 1 so this will be n minus n plus 1 factorial and after that the this term ax plus b to the power m minus n at the place of ax plus b in our problem is x minus 1 x minus 1 and to the power m minus n m is actually equal to n and n is equal to n minus 1 so this will be in fact n minus n plus 1 and in fact there is no need to write the other terms we will directly now write the final term because our result will be obtained after that so <clears throat> you can see in the last term there is in fact x minus 1 to the power n at is and again applying this leibniz formula we will differentiate this x plus 1 to the power n will be differentiated n minus 1 times again applying the leibniz formula so you can see what will be the result here again at the place of a is 1 so this will be in fact 1 to the power n minus 1 and factorial m m is again n so that will be factorial n and divided by m minus n factorial so this will be n minus minus n minus n plus 
सो दिस इज एन माइनस एन माइनस एन प्लस वन एंड ए एक्स प्लस बी टू दी पावर एम माइनस एन एंड ए एक्स प्लस बी इज सिंपली एक्स प्लस वन एंड दिस विल बी एन माइनस एन प्लस वन एंड लिमिट्स आर वन एंड माइनस वन वन एंड माइनस वन नाउ लेट एस सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू कैन सी हियर इन फैक्ट दिस एन एंड दिस एन विल कैंसिल आउट हियर ऑल हियर इज ऑल्सो फैक्टोरियल दिस एन एंड दिस एन विल कैंसिल आउट सो इन द डिनोमिनेटर देर इज ओनली फैक्टोरियल ऑफ वन फैक्टोरियल ऑफ वन एंड दैट इज वन एंड वन टू द पावर एन माइनस वन दैट इज ऑल्सो वन सो वेन यू विल सिंप्लीफाई इट वाट विल बी योर रिजल्ट यू कैन सी इजीली so therefore integral minus 1 to plus 1 pn of x dx and this will be equal to now n factorial because 1 to the power n minus 1 is 1 and x minus 1 to the power 1 you can see here this in fact in this power this n and this n will cancel out here also this n and n will cancel out and so there is only x minus 1 to the power 1 that is x minus 1 you can say there is no need to write this one here so and uh, the second factor is at is that is x plus 1 to the power n x to the power x plus 1 to the power n and plus so on plus so on and the last term similarly will be n factorial into x plus 1 into x minus 1 to the power n and limits are Minus one and plus one, or simply one. So now substitute the limit. You can see this is actually the limits of x. So this is n factorial into x is now one. So this will be one minus one into one plus one to the power n. And plus so on, plus n factorial x plus one. So this will be one plus one into x minus one. This is one minus one to the power n. And minus. Now we will put at the lower limit that is minus one. So this will be minus n factorial x minus one. So this will be minus one. Minus one into x plus one, so this will be minus one plus one to the power n, and plus so on plus n factorial, and put here the limit. <coughs> this will be minus one plus one into x minus one, so this is minus one minus one to the power n. and you can see in fact this one and one will cancel out here will be zero again this will cancel out here will be zero again here this one and one cancel out here will be zero and here is also zero so each and every term actually becomes zero so you can see this result will be simply zero and therefore you can write the integral from minus 1 to plus 1 pn of x dx this is equal to 0 and this was the result which we have to prove so you can see using rodriguez formula we can solve such problems very easily if you have an idea of this leibniz theorem and the particular formula for